In this video, I'm going to show you how to download USB Loader GX as a channel using WADS. For this tutorial, your Wii will have to be homebrewed already. If you haven't done that, I'll link a playlist in the description for all your Wii modding videos. You'll need a computer, obviously, and your USB drive or your SD card that you use to mod your Wii. So getting right into it, the first link in the description is going to take you to this page at the Wii database, and you're going to click on the download button. This is the WAD that we need to install on the Wii. So that download pretty quick. Now you go to the second page, or second link in the description, and this is gonna take you to the Google Code Archive. And if you click the third link down, um, YAWMM, yet another Wii Mod Manager, <laughs> click it to download, and you'll download a zip file, which you'll need something to extract it. I use WinRAR. So once you have both those files downloaded, go to your downloads folder, right click on yet another Wii Mod Manager, press extract here, and since I already have it, it's just, I'm replacing it. I gotta go find it, I guess. So once you extract it, it'll look like this. Uh, yum. <laughs> Double click on it and just drag your apps folder onto the root of your USB drive or SD card. Since I already have it, it's gonna replace the files. And if you go into your apps folder, it should look like this, WAD manager. If you click on it, it should have these three files. So we're not done yet. Next up, you need to create a folder on your SD card called WAD. I already have one. I have a couple games in there. But if you but if you don't have it, just right click, create a new folder and just call it WAD. Just like that. I can't it already contains a folder, so I'm just going to click no. So once you have that folder created, go into it. And now you need the WAD you downloaded for USB Loader GX. So drag it in and it should look like this. You don't have to extract it or anything, you just have to put it in your WAD folder. So that's all we have to do on the computer. Let's take out our USB drive, but first, right click on it, eject, just in case, and let's go over the Wii. Once you made it onto your Wii, go ahead and click on the homebrew channel, load it up. And just a warning, uh, installing WADs is a little more risky than other stuff to do in uh, modding your Wii. So I do suggest backing up your NAND just in case something bad happens or you get a bad WAD file. I do know I've used this one before, so it's safe. Um, but once you get to the homebrew channel, load up yet another WAD manager. And if you don't know how to back up your NAND, uh, there's videos in that playlist that show you how. Uh, so go check those out before you do this. Another thing to note is Remotes with uh, Wii Motion Plus built inside have issues with this. I tried to use my Luigi one and it just wouldn't recognize anything, so I used just a regular old Wii remote. So once you're in here, just press A on iOS 249 and press A, keep it on disable. And here you're going to select your so source device. So if you're using an SD card, you're going to select Wii SD slot. And if you're using a USB drive like me, I'm going to go over to USB 2.0 mass storage device. Just click A, and here's the list of all of our wads. If you're only doing the, the USB loader forwarder, that'll, that'll be the only one there, but I had some WiiWare games, so they're also there. If you chose the wrong source file, it'll just be blank, and you can back out and go into the other one, and hopefully they're there. So once you're here, go down to USB loader GX, press A and it's going to give you the option to install or uninstall. So if you ever want to get rid of it, you just come and do the same thing and just click A on it, uninstall. So, but we're installing it on this video, so we're going to press A on install WAD. And it should be pretty quick. It's, it's really small. And just like that, it's done. So press A to continue. And now we're done. Everything is good to go. Just press the home button. It'll say restarting Wii, but it'll just take you back to the homebrew channel. And then from here, just press the home button again and exit to system menu. And let's see if the channel has showed up. And if all has gone smoothly, there it is, waiting for us to play some games. So let's uh, see if it works. Start it up. It's really convenient because it's one less step that you have to do when you want to play your games. And in the future, I'm going to show you guys how to create a uh, a game shortcut or a game forwarder so you don't even have to go into the USB loader it just um, 
loads it straight from the Wii menu. So if you want to check that out, um, subscribe and keep your eyes out for that video, it'll be up soon. But it's just loading up, and here we go. It loaded USB loader as if clicked it in the homebrew channel. My USB loader, I have it selected uh, to show NAND channels, but if you don't want that, you can just have it set um, to show games. But my NAND channels include my WiiWare games, so I like to have that. But anyways, if you found this helpful, uh, make sure you give it a like, that is much appreciated. And I hope you have a good day, and I hope you enjoy your new shortcut. Take care.